In this video, we're going to break down specific filters a little bit further than in the full overview. So every one of these that are listed, again, these are in the, the primary link that is on the ClickUp page for you for Zoom Info. There's a reason each one of these uh, items are on here, and the primary ones are as follows. Now, human resources executive, store operations, office operations, which is like office managers and things like that, specifically for smaller um, construction and manufacturing types of companies, right? A lot of times an office manager or just smaller companies in general. Um, office managers will sometimes call the shots. So those are good to have. You can take them off if you're looking for like a larger type of client. Um, standard HR. Now, where where they'll normally fall off, like sometimes I left these on here to soak up more HR people, but if you're doing a more detailed search, you can definitely get rid of like HRIS um, and recruiting and talent sometimes as well. Again, like these people might make the decision, but if it's a big enough company where they have a separate recruiting and talent department, it's probably a higher HR manager that's going to call the shot on this type of thing. Further, we've got uh, manager and above. So manager, director, VP level, and C level decision makers. We don't have any non-managers selected. And you can edit any of this by clicking that plus sign and edit anything you want. And it will alter the uh, context that you see. And of course, you can save and subscribe uh, or just save that link as well. You can search specific company names, which there's another video on, on using this bar up here to search for specific companies. But you can fur further whittle things down. So I could add, you know, a couple, let me just throw in a couple of more zip codes to widen the search <clears throat> just a little bit. And let me say that I only want to work with like a company that's got at least 250 people in the organization. Let's see what that does. That brings me to Valero. They're a big one in town. Uh, and it looks like a distributing company as well. And she's got a uh, likely to engage there on her direct dial. Tons of Valero. Jet Specialty. Okay, this is a good this is a good company as well uh, for us. And then more of more of the same. Right now, it's just only a couple of zip codes, um, but you see what the employee count does there. Now you can mess with company revenue and things like that. I typically find myself living under uh, three or four blocks here: job title, the type of info I want, which it basically always stays the same at give me any of these three things, because I can guess at a business email if I'm forced to. Right, but most people have the business email because that's how, if they've got a mobile phone, they've probably got a business email because that's how they um, base the data to begin with. So, um, I, and then I go to industry and employee count. That's usually the four things that I work off of when I'm searching for companies. But there's, of course, further filters. Uh, scoops and technologies are a little bit more, um, again, I don't use them a lot, but they are there. It might a scoop might be, um, hey, this company's looking to move to another area, for example. That's a, that's a thing. Um, and then show all filters breaks it down a little bit further um, into some more cumbersome um, items that you may want to use. So, for example, um, you can see new hires, college degree, web reference keywords, board members, track contracts. And you can go a little bit further down into
and you can actually go down into companies and you can see under company attributes if you click this plus sign this is a little cool pretty cool deep dive you can click explore here other and you can look at trucks and operators so I can say hey show me someone that only has 50 or more trucks now this is a perfect technology um, that's why I don't use it all the time but it's pretty cool so I'm gonna go up here but I actually need to make a change I want to say um, I'm gonna need to add some some zip codes but I'm gonna get rid of this 250 above and I need to move this over to probably transportation and for the sake of my video I'm going to edit this say all of San Antonio so I'm saying all of San Antonio Texas okay with 50 or more trucks in transportation only with still these job titles and roles now I'm really gonna want to look for safety people here um, let's say I wanted to go to let's say I wanted to change this to a hundred trucks let's let's or go even higher let's whittle it down still 2800 contacts now I'm not sure of what types of uh, companies they are now DoorDash for example it should be showing me people that are headquartered here I don't believe DoorDash is headquartered in San Antonio could be wrong I always make sure I have this box checked for sure let's go ahead and back this out and say only San Antonio Texas that could be it now here we've got Southwestern Motor Transport head of safety Michael Mangold looks like a pretty good contact that I could reach out to this person that's a really good example of what a deep dive would do uh, here for the filters in sales OS